ತರ್ಕ ಸಂವಾದ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ವಾಯ್ಸಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಅ ಪಾಡ್ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೀಮ್ ಪಾಂಚಜನ್ಯ ಪಾಂಚಜನ್ಯ ವಿತ್ ದಿವೈನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬ್ಲೋನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಕುರುಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮಯುತ ದಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಡನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ವಾಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೋಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ our organization will work towards establishing the importance and necessity of following and imbibing bharatiya culture accepting our roots and making people realize the true essence of ayurveda not only as a treatment modality but also as a way of life all these while walking in the path of dharma hence the motto shreyam bharatiyam aarogyam ayurvedam Welcome to the first episode of Tarka Sambhada with Vaidya Shubhamangala Acharya Ma'am. Shubhamangala Ma'am is an esteemed Ayurveda practitioner with over two decades of experience, specializing in panchakarma and holistic health. For the past 15 plus years, she has been treating patients and has her own panchakarma center set up in Bengaluru. Her clinic is recognized as a Garbha Samskara Kendra that provides consultancy for healthy progeny. Ma'am is also a well-known yoga instructor qualified from S. Vyasa, Bengaluru. She is an active member of Kutumba Prabodhan Bengaluru Vibhag, a part of RSS. She has also published several articles and scientific research papers in national and international conferences. Without further ado, let's get started with the first podcast. Namaste ma'am. Namaste. Welcome to Tarka Samvada, an exclusive podcast from Team Panchajanya. First of all, we from Team Panchajanya wholeheartedly thank you for making your precious time available to share your vast knowledge of Ayurveda that you have gained throughout these years. Today, we have with us Vaidya Shubhamangal Acharya, an esteemed Ayurveda practitioner with over two decades of experience, specializing in Panchakarma and holistic science. She graduated from SDM, SDM College of Ayurveda Hasan. She graduated from SDM College of Ayurveda Hasan and qualified yoga instructor from Yes Vyasa. She has made significant contributions in the field of Ayurveda through her clinical practice research and public education initiatives. I welcome you again ma'am. So firstly how was your day ma'am? Oh, good. Every day is good for Ayurveda doctor. <laughs> so did you choose Ayurveda or Ayurveda chose you? uh both i can say my father he wanted to uh, study ayurveda but those days you know how it is so it was his dream so from my childhood he used to tell me you have to study ayurveda so that i came to ayurveda sports <laughs> like you should go to no, modern no, medicine no, or no, anything no, no, no. no we were practicing I mean, even i had not taken a single vaccine like from my childhood he he didn't uh, my sister's brother haven't taken a single even bcg when we were like from the birth <laughs> So what are the things that made you more curious in your UG life about Ayurveda? In UG, I can't say much because uh, I have joined, first I joined uh, Udupi Ayurveda College, SDM Udupi. And they said uh, they are going to start a college in Hassan. So new batch. But our principal, he used to tell that it is great and only those things uh, we had, but we, I didn't see much. uh miracles or whatever uh, in ayurveda today, yeah yeah not and even people were like what is ayurveda ba ms means ba after ba you do ms that was the situation it was very bad so but uh, that's the uh, nothing more in uh, B, uh, during my ug after coming out uh, i was working under my guru then slowly i started looking into the world of ayurveda <laughs> So what are the interesting cases that you have treated that seem to be impossible to to cure through ayurveda there is no nothing like that there is no cure to ayurveda ayurveda is a ocean so we have to look at it i mean you know how it is asadhya is there everywhere and mostly we get cases where asadhya in modern science that we have to improve we should know their uh, limitations and we should tune ourselves in those fields because now it is a tough competition 
So most of our cases, because nowadays, recently after COVID, I can see people directly, when they fall sick, they directly come to us. Before that, after going to all patis, someone say, okay, go there and see. Just a last trial, even no interest, nothing. Just like that, they come. So treating them and they'll go back to normal, whatever the condition, because I don't compare it to the modern diagnosis. Because these are all recent signs superficial i mean i i cannot uh, comment on others but they are different from us we go spiritual ayurveda is spiritual science so only in sanatana we can say science and spirituality are same so we, our diagnosis should be in ayurvedic way so but the values we can show it in the reports many diabetes they say cases but i cannot look at it as diabetes or prameha diabetes are not prameha Prameha is different diabetes system. So we should treat like that. So such cases we have, uh, I can't say, if I say that um, they may arrest me because there is a rule saying that we can't treat, uh, what we can't cure uh, this thi uh, thyroid, diabetes, they say, but we can uh, definitely, those values we can bring back to normal and we can tell them no medication. You don't need medication. There are many people without any uh, those medication and they're coming for any other like fever, cold, something like that. And many, I, I had a coma patient. She was there with me for six years. It is like uh, she was my guru. Maybe last year she uh, had some, was full six years. She had not taken a single allopathic medicines. Uh, everything was administered through tube, but my medicines, her heartbeat used to go low, like 40, 30 with the Lashunakshira Paka and some Prabhakara, but certain drugs I used to do, so she was in Maleshwaram. So like that six years, I could manage her. She had uh, hydrocephaly with the Lepa. Uh, till I didn't know that till 2021, 20, modern science didn't have the idea of Lepa can affect inside. So with Lepa, her hydrocephalus uh, condition, we have, I have a report before and after. So there are many cases if you trust in Ayurveda and if you don't, I mean, you should not think it like modern uh, point of view. They have their own science, they have their own research. We should think it in our way. We should think it in the Ayurvedic way. Vatapitta Kapha Dosha, Dosha Srotas, definitely you can give better results. So what we do now is we just compare within modern medicine and Ayurveda. I call them herbal doctors. I tell them whenever patients come to me, you have, you have come to a Vaidya. Nidana Parivarjana is very important. So I take time in taking history. Darshana, Sparshana, Prashna is very, especially Prashna nowadays, we'll come to know the Nidana. So I explained how Nidana, uh, like I give them an example of a nail. There is a nail in your house. You, are, uh, you got scratched. I can cure, I can treat your uh, wound. But if still the nail is there, every day you are getting uh, scratches and I can be rich. You lose your uh, everything. So remove the nail. That means the Nidana waking up uh, around 9, 10 and sleeping around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock and eating any time they want. So all the adhyashana, all things and uh, eating anything and all negative energy, watching all bad things. Indriyas, they have to control. Rasana Indriya especially. And uh, even uh, that's what Abhyanga. So I don't tell them to do every day because it is very difficult. Some can manage, but some they will run away. Instead of that, I convenient uh, method, at least weekends you do a bianga. And I explain how it works. I give some examples of how the, they got good results, their examples. So they will enjoy it. That, that's what the Ayurveda doctors, if he says, I am treating 100 patients a day, that is a failure. You can't uh, treat more. I mean, you need time with each patient. Once they follow up, it won't take much. Initially, if you like 5-10 minutes, if you are sending them back, that is not Ayurveda. So you have to give time. People feel irritated sometimes, but when they come inside, they don't go out. So we'll be knowing all their family. Even that family physician concept is slowly going into modern science. We have to be family physicians. Half of the time I'll have invitation for this, uh, this wedding, this one's uh, childbirth, all these things. Most, I, I won't go for every function, but we should be like that. We should be remembering their relatives when they come, Maga and Marti Dane. They'll be so happy. Bishak Varsha is very important. We can't expect them to come and uh, like become uh, their our fans. We should, it's our duty. It's nothing but building a loyal patient base. Yes, and uh, all these things we have to think before. Uh, that's what completely think about Ayurvedic way. Then definitely you can. Yes, sir. So next question. Uh, what's your opinion on integrative medicine that's been like developing like a booming industry now? What's your opinion on that? Ma? 
अच्छा आई डोंट लाइक एनीथिंग न्यू बिकॉज आई शुड नॉट से दिस बट इट इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द डेंजरस सिचुएशन माई इंटीग्रेशन इज विद एन एस्ट्रोलॉजर गुड एस्ट्रोलॉजर साइंटिफिकली प्रैक्टिस एंड विद द अष्टांग योग नॉट दैट आसन योग एक्सपर्ट अष्टांग योग यू हैव टू हैव ट्रीटमेंट फॉर मनस सो दैट इज दोज काइंड ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इज नीडेड यस वी नीड सम फॉर द रिपोर्ट्स पर्पज वी नीड इन्वेस्टिगेशंस i respect modern science but i can't tell them you give this i give that is not possible for research, for reports we go to they, we can, we send them to modern labs only in that level and sometimes people come with a cancer tumor i can't tell them i'll cure the tumor like four years and the person won't survive we tell them go for surgery we know some doctors we tell them to that after surgery come back instead of other uh, treatments we can give uh, uh, best uh, instead of this immunity we have rasayana chikitsa basic shodhana and start rasayana i have some patients with the instead of burning the whole system the cancer cells are removed because we can't wait uh, so long and they have no time it's very uh, it go going faster first of all it is with vedha avastha asadhya condition this like this we can uh, many patients are there they are fine some of them we can't give them eyes that uh, there is uh, what is that i forgot the shloka uh, so are you it's not in our, not in our hand so quality of life definitely we can help so in every aspect we should look how we can help them no we can't compete but in our own way we can definitely help them so how do you see medicine changing in next 10 years it's scary so we have to depend on rashoshadi only i may be because all our western ghats it's go it's not uh, almost it's going on himalaya and uh, ayurveda especially yeah and uh, in allopathy uh, antibiotics they have resistance and people are t- turning towards us and we don't have medicines first of all it is expensive day by day the rates are increasing and i feel bad so many poor people are coming and uh, i can't tell them i'll i uh, for those, for them i can i can't take my, uh, my fees but at least for medicines i have to charge and it is expensive that is little scary we have to concentrate on growing our uh, dravya is like in four uh, this thing dravya part is not there means we can't do magic and treat so that is scary so also has right. everyone wants to start one company and uh, uh, prepare the medicines no one is interested in growing and that too you know how it is certain dr- drugs have to grow in certain parts haridra and all southern part of india haritaki and dif- most of the drugs in himalaya they are not interested in uh, all development in the name of development it is becoming scary uh, ma'am if you are tasked with creating a national health policy what would be your top most priority ayurveda as a mainstream i that's what i respect all the science but it is our science so ayurveda people should change their lifestyle swasthasya swastha rakshanam should be there and change their uh, dinacharya uh, teach them dinacharya and the uh, importance of dinacharya people now they are scared they want health so instead of that we are f- creating fear and giving medicines so ayurveda should be the priority lifestyle correction if you fall sick yes emergency something happened they are they've done lot of research and that science is needed but not for everything so primary it should be ayurveda like for any pain you can't pop every time painkillers that's what how how many dialysis centers are opening not it is not because of ayurveda their lifestyle their medication you know painkillers and antibiotics it is a pain. fatty liver is every second person is having fatty liver because of the medication stress so follow dinacharya rutucharya sadvrutta you will be healthy so definitely we can uh, change a lot so coming to the point of dinacharya how many like what regimens do you follow daily ma'am like every or um, one uh, that brahma murta brahmi murta is little difficult but i try but it is not because i relax only and during night when i'll sleep i enjoy doing my work in the night so that is difficult but i have to do that it is not correct and uh, i don't use uh, western kumur uh, so that is also important and abhyanga i try to adopt as many days as possible and that's what me and my daughter we try to do some this thing and then we forget <laughs> and ahara two meals a day uh, many i try to follow but but we can definitely adopt most of the things 
uh, so time is the main restraint yes. that we... with that time we can make changes i tell because some serious cases they have to change i tell them how to, i ask their uh, regime in night duty they work so come back first have some drink and go to sleep don't eat and sleep because they get tired they come home eat immediately go to sleep acidity so many problems i can't tell them to resign their night duty work and they, for them abhyanga is must i tell them every day if you do abhyanga you will be healthy otherwise within 50 you will fall you will be lying on the bed then they get scared sometimes we have to create fear then they'll follow the dinacharya so according to the prakriti and their work, work we can't tell them do this get up at 4 we can't do that some changes ask their life uh, their uh, total regime otherwise they just they don't come back they say our oh, ayurveda will not agal so with their lifestyle with their work we can definitely make some changes and if they follow they'll know the results and uh, lot there are many people who say now i tell them don't take medicines now you are sick take medicines correct your dosha then you have to be healthy you can't you can send patients not you don't come back if so you are coming back that means something is wrong with me or you then they understand the otherwise we make them like you have to take this you cannot f- create fear and give the medicines we should give them confidence that is the bishak varsha part no? so what improvisation in ayurveda you have seen three through these years like from your uj life till this day yeah recent uh, my daughter's textbook it's very good samhita adhyayana is very much needed we i can tell you i saw the red book that original i um, mean that textbook recently Uh, i had hindi copy of uh, books that too we used to refer d- during ug uh, it was bad that way sdm is okay other co- comparing to other colleges but nothing all of them they want to do one degree few of them wanted to yeah wanted to start practice ayurveda otherwise you need a degree just go somewhere sit practice allopathy it's, it's very uh, sad thing to say but that is what is used to happen now people started realizing so they need vaidyas so more vaidyas are coming and uh, awareness is more now western countries they want ayurveda now at least they have realized okay they want ayurveda so we have to improve lot of improvement is needed from the department openly i am saying this instead of uh, promoting ashwagandha wellness we should treat wellness is not ayurveda swasthavrutta you don't have to um, go and uh, pay and do the swasthavrutta you have to do it yourself you have to take care of diseases other uh, vikara prashamana is more needed in ayurveda which is not doing they are doing telling allopathy should do vikara prashamana we should do swasthya rakshana so we should do both the sides we have to concentrate and many ayurvedic uh, graduates are turning towards allopathy and practicing it what's your opinion on it now so that quacks what can i say before in between there was some degree to practice uh, allopathy openly many patients tell me i start praising ayurveda they say then why so many uh, ayurvedic doctors are working in uh, uh, hospitals as uh, duty doctors that is the tragedy of our science thing is this science should have come from a gurukula not from neat and uh, physics chemistry maths biology you studied and you come here and it is like a new world so they won't adjust to the world they go on this for degree they study parallelly they concentrate on allopathy and it is easy to practice symptomatic treatment you give the slowly you develop your own center and there be more patients to an ayurvedic doctor who practice allopathy than allopathic doctor definitely they hate us but when you are more into your science even they respect you when they see the results from your own practice and they, because i tell them i am not uh, uh, your uh, i mean i am not practicing your science i am completely i am a vaidya you are a doctor i have many doctors as uh, some of them refer to me some of them come for treatment so we should be different we should show them this is what ayurveda if we start practicing allopathy then they think there is nothing in ayurveda hale kaladalli ittu iga illa even that story is going on ayurveda is trikala satya it is same before now and in future so this very bad what they are doing is not good so being a doctor what is the one thing you would like to prescribe to the whole world like to be healthy yeah that's what you have to build confidence in them saying you are healthy so instead of okay my father had this my grandfather had this i may get diabetes it is like you are calling the problem hmm. just think you are healthy mentally and physically you are healthy like what you think like that will be that concept like just tell them they are healthy so when they come to me i tell them you are healthy nimge you are healthy you are fine 
that itself is enough to keep them they, that mind that becomes strong that whatever the mind block is clear half of their problem is solved and so let their agni be clear yes explain about the agni and keep their agni ham vaishwana robhut i tell everyone this shloka krishna says in bhagavad gita ham vaishwana robhut so vaishwana keep your vaishwana well healthy then that is the immunity that i explain to every patient of mine so what's the tip you will give to uh, those who have just completed their five year, five and a half years of ayurveda journey like how to practice or how to approach something yeah that's what uh, i don't know whether you need the, because pg is again it is like a modern uh, pg it is not ashtanga ayurveda you are not doing pg in kaya you should go like kaya or kaya balagraha urdhvanga kaya chikitsa should be the center and uh, that is real ayurveda pg nowadays like draveguna where is draveguna in our, in our ayurveda shastra there is no rasa shastra you need a, but your approach should be different like uh, uh, whatever our textbook says so if you, are, if you want to do research if you want to go for a teaching profession or uh, academics yes pg otherwise concentrate on your practice uh, build your uh, this uh, you have to speak well you have to concent i mean attract the patient whenever get the chance go speak in some crowd that is our positive uh, thing my guru dr padmana brav used to teach me write in a i started writing when i was working under him my first article uh, is like hallina arogya ayurveda dinda hallina arogya so i got so many people like uh, uh, response was good how to prevent that time it was 1999 not much awareness of ayurveda he used to write articles so i started writing articles people realized okay how to prevent now every third person is writing and so many too much of information that half of them are wrong going on in the name of ayurveda and, and they are not even ready ayurveda ah, and whoever is writing in google or outside even in the tv channels they have not studied ayurveda in the name of i that is also it's very bad situation now with one green leaf it is ayurveda now so ayurveda is different from herbal medicine i tell them herbal medicine is different i we can't even i was supposed to talk about it in a channel and they said no it will affect our commercial thing so that bad it is now <laughs> i can't talk outside all these things so that is so this is a good place so that i can even our students should understand so many things are coming in the name of ayurveda just think it is not that whatever the fruits or plant is grown outside india and they call it ayurveda it can't be just i mean to our system it is not uh, i don't want to name the thing but those things should be remember because nowadays people google they come with they just say i am vata prakriti what do you give so that we can talk to them and convince so you are not vata whatever we can do but still so much of information is outside so why they should be strong before anyone comes to us even they ask me do you have any capsules with gelatin i don't want i came here because i wanted to uh, be vegan or whatever vegetarian so i make sure that my capsules uh, are not uh, uh, this uh, gelatin based and mostly i give classical preparation some are there churna is in the capsules so we have to give so even uh, medicines also mostly classical you can differentiate between doshas some very good uh, uh, this patent medicines are there now but you should concentrate only on shastra that is the thing you whatever you study you may not understand then you many we used to think okay this is not uh, applicable now that that is not that we don't understand so we should study shastra adhyayana daksha tirthartha shastra tadrushta karma so all these things should be important and definitely if you sit in the clinic and uh, whenever you get the chance go talk to your uh, around i mean there is a temple some festival you can go and ask them can i speak for a few minutes and you just give them some confidence you are fine you are uh, if borderline diabetes is there don't worry change your lifestyle you will not get sh- simple things next they will come to you so you can definitely sit and sh- practice shuddha ayurveda from the beginning there is no such thing that oh, okay nobody comes to us initially you have to start with allopathy people are very intelligent now if you start practicing they ask how can you practice you are not a qualified allopathy there are many allopathy doctors so we have to get confidence in our science trust in dhanvantri definitely he will help you so coming to the last segment of our podcast uh, rapid fire round so first question uh, which is your favorite medical book ma'am ashtanga hridaya <laughs> an unconventional ayurvedic book that you would recommend a layman to get some knowledge about ayurveda oh, no 
I haven't, uh, my guru has written one article there, Ayurveda Dinacharya, uh, so it's good, Dr. Padmanabh Rao, it's good. Uh, if you weren't a Vaidya, what would you be? Any other profession? Mm, I wanted to do in zoology and work with animals. I love animals. Any Ayurvedic regimens you practice regularly? Yeah, Abhyanga um, and try to do that powder, uh, this thing, Dantadavana. Ab uh, it's mainly Abhyanga. Have you ever un encountered a Google diagnosis that was surprisingly accurate? I don't know. I tell them once they start Google, I said, no, stop. That's all. <laughs> That's the end of it, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this conversation was uh, so insightful and so knowledgeable. So I really thank you for being for joining us for this po podcast, ma'am. Uh, it should be useful for you. Uh, whatever, I'm just a drop of maybe a sasway in the uh, ocean. So study, go deep into it. Day by, every day you realize that Ayurveda, we know so less. I mean, when I finished my degree and I thought, okay, I know Ayurveda. Every day I'm realizing I don't know anything. So study, read the textbook and uh, Adhyayana and uh, Tadvidya Sambhasha is very much needed. And there are so many groups of Vaidyas and students discuss the cases, don't hide. That's the problem with the Ayurveda Vaidyas. Nowadays, they are not, uh, they're open discuss the cases and not that what you have given to the patient is not important. Approach, Chikitsa Siddhanta is more important than the medicine you have given. So those things from now, because you are still young and uh, you can tune it into that, definitely you will succeed in your Meswata. Uh, Danvantri will be always Thank there. you ma'am, thank you. I hope this session helped the millions of us like us, like-minded people who want something to do for Ayurveda uh, and they'll get some inspiration and walk towards the path of Ayurveda ma'am. So thank you ma'am. This is a small token of love and gratitude. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you ma'am. You are doing a great job. May Lord Dhanvantri bless you with all whatever you need. We'll look forward for some more interactive sessions yes, from the team. Thank, thank you. you.